Morrissey was a hero in the Second World War, uh, shot up, left for dead, and amazingly, four years later, dragging a, a leg that had 21 mortar fragments in it, uh, pitched uh, in the major leagues for six years, and uh, four years after he was shot up and left for dead, made the, Ameri the American League All-Star team in uh, 1949. And, um, and he remains a hero to disabled veterans, to disadvantaged kids, and to the rest of us who want to overcome obstacles, including me, Lou Brissy. Uh, did so well that in 1949, his second year in the major leagues, he made the American League All-Star team on merit. Uh, a teammate with uh, DiMaggio, Williams, Feller, uh, some of the greatest players in the history of the game, pitching against Stan Musial, Jackie Robinson, also some of the greatest players in the history of the game. Pitched three innings in that All-Star game at Ebbets Field and, um, and did nicely. Uh, gave up a home run to Ralph Kiner, but a lot of pitchers gave up home runs to Ralph Kiner. And Ted Williams came up to bat, and he hit a line drive off of Lou Brissy's left damaged leg, which had a steel and aluminum brace. He wore a big brace on his leg. And he um, and the line drive knocked Brissy down on the mound. And Ted Williams, who wrote about this scene in his own autobiography, My Turn at Bat, said that when the, my line drive hit the leg and hit the steel and aluminum brace, it echoed throughout the ballpark. And everybody in the ballpark in a full house it was opening day knew that Brissy had been a war hero and I knew that Brissy had been a war hero and so I ran to first base and I looked over and Brissy was down on the ground uh, felled by the, the line drive and so William said I ran over to the mound and, I, and he tagged up of course he called time out ran over to the mound and said are you okay are you okay and Brissy looked up and he said Williams why don't you pull the damn ball? <laughs> so in other words, don't hit it up the middle, hit it down the first ba down the first baseline, away from me. Anyway, I mean, so, but Brissy had said that he thought his baseball career, which had just started, was maybe over, and he pictured himself in the in a the creek where he had suffered the mortar uh, uh, onslaught uh, by the Germans in northern mountains of Italy when he lay in a creek for eight hours before he was saved by uh, the Graves registration team that came by. But he thought, oh my God, I'm starting all over again. Because he had gone through a year in the minor leagues, had worked to, to, to walk again, and he thought, I'm, I'm back where I was. And so, but then he got up, and of course Williams went back to first base, and, but his, his team came around him from the dugout, and the other players, and the manager, and the coaches, the trainers, and they're gonna take him out of the game. And he said, no, let me try, let me, I, I think I can still pitch. So he went back to the mound and took his first warm up. He fell down, he fell flat down again. They said, you're coming out of the game, you're coming out of the game. He said, one more chance, please, just one more chance. So, okay, he gets up, throws a warm up pitch, doesn't fall down. Another warm up pitch, another one, okay. They said, he said, I can stay in the game. They said, well, okay. So he stays in the game. And it comes down to the ninth inning. The A's are ahead. I think the score was five to three. And the Red Sox have two men on base. And Williams comes up, last batter. And Brissy, with two strikes, throws what Williams says was the best curveball I'd ever seen. Strike three. Strikes out Williams, leaves men on base, and the A's win the game. And uh, if there's a movie, the movie might end right there. <laughs> <laughs>